Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, this is just a short video to inform you we will be live on air in my other channel. And uh, we posted the link already in the info, so if you like to join us, uh, you can just click down under the name of the video, uh, down in the info, and you will find a link to click and join. And we will post the link for you here in the chat so you will be able to join us. <coughs> uh, the topic is any Muslim can call us open challenge live debate whoever a Muslim he think he think for a second that Islam is a good religion or Islam even a religion he can prove to us anything he claim about Islam he is more than welcome to call us and to show us this is the link please invite your friends all Muslims are welcome and we will take Muslim calls only as usual because we want people to hear the other side of the story to be fair um, so Muslims can show us really maybe you are wrong you know maybe you are wrong let us see uh, my experience is that Muslims are the last one who can explain Islam to us uh, all the answers they have is copy paste from each other and those answers are very funny and hilarious so if you are a Muslim and you think you have something good to share with us or maybe you can prove us wrong in any way you want i will be happy to have you so invite your friends <coughs> and let us see how many muhammadan uh, uh, you know can uh, can do that uh, someone of you said that the prime minister of malaysia just said bible is corrupted can you give me a link for that if you can give me just the name of the title of that article so I can search it and we can uh, speak about that in our coming broadcast about what this guy he said if you have an article just give me the title I will search it all right you know one of the funny things Muslims they claim that uh, the Bible is corrupt but the Quran is showing that those Muslims have no idea this is what I'm saying is Muslims do not Muslims are not even Muslims those are Mohammedans who have no idea what their book is teaching because all their claims is against their book they are funny they they are not educated uh, they are copy paste especially with this internet generation whereas internet supposed to give you more education but it's working in the opposite way because people instead of searching right now they just go see what the somebody making saying in the internet and they take whatever he say for granted uh, so if you have uh, the, what uh, this uh, Prime Minister of Malaysia he said, give me the title please so I can search it and we can show the Muslims that those people are not even Muslims. Actually they are speaking against the religion when they say the Bible is corrupt. Because look at this, uh, you know when the Muslim they say the Bible is corrupt they are saying that the Bible of Allah is corrupt. I mean how insulting, how stupid because Muslims believe that Allah is the one who sent the Bible. And that is additional proof that Allah cannot be God. Because if anyone, I mean, and why in the world Allah, he, he arrived, like, how come Allah, he sent all those books, and all those books, he, he, they are corrupt, and Allah could not protect them. Allah will protect only the Quran, brother. I mean, do you see the stupid logic? Do you see the stupid logic? Uh, anyone gave me the title for the what the prime minister he said so we can put it on the screen in the coming broadcast after uh, uh, 27 minutes anyone again guys if you'd like to join us this is the link click at the link subscribe to the other account the other account is one of my backup it doesn't have too many uh, subscribers it's like 20,000 only uh, subscribe there and uh, keep yourself updated about where we go because we might change channel anytime any second uh, and the reason for that you know youtube like us very much what we can do they are in love with us they love me so always in order to uh, to find where i'm going to be live you go to patreon and you check the last link i posted and this is where i will be as simple as that the link in the front of you i'm flashing the, the, the screen for you so you can see uh, the website you can uh, create an account and subscribe there 
and uh, you don't have to make a donation you know in order to follow us our service is for free for everybody a donation is just to support us if you feel like you can you are welcome and we appreciate it but uh, uh, you know it's just a way of communication you go to patreon you see where i post it or you go to my page in facebook and you will be able to because always i post in facebook before i go live too <clears throat> always go after the last link I posted you know then you will know where I am doing broadcast as simple as that uh, and because you know many people they uh, download my videos you might be confused where to find me and this is why I asked those who download my videos if you don't mind but my uh, all the links lead to me uh, patreon Facebook if you can you know and uh, so people they knew where to you know at the end of the day they will come to your channel because i don't keep my videos as you know so don't worry about people not coming to your channel uh, they can come only when i'm live but when they want to watch the video which i did already they will come to your channel and we encourage you actually to subscribe to those people who they are downloading my videos because this is where you can see always my videos after i delete them I don't keep my videos for long in my channel <clears throat> can you increase the volume please I think the volume is bad from your side my friend I try to fix that use a headphone if you are using just a phone speaker maybe your speaker is weak and uh, because uh, many people they have no problem anyone have a problem with the sound anyone have a problem with with the sound beside this uh, brother there let me know if the side if the sound is good. Uh, Hamza Shadi, how are you, Hamza? Uh, don't talk about the crime, my friend. I can show you your property crime, and the Arab they did beat him, and uh, he did hide for two weeks before he entered the city of uh, of his wife, and he don't want people to know, but then people get him busted. Um, so don't talk about it. All right, so the sound is good? Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, Hamza, why you don't call us, my friend? We will be live in the other channel in less than 24 minutes. And Hamza is more than welcome to tell us what, what maybe you can make me cry too. I want to cry. I did not eat, uh, I did not cut the onion for long. It's time for you Muslims to make me cry. When you would do that? Hmm? As you see, I am desperately waiting for a Muslim to make me cry. We say, open challenge, Muslim call us, make us a cry, and what happened, we laugh. So when you are going to do it? Hmm? All the promise of Muslims they gave to me, it turned to be false. They promised me 5 BMW. Christian Prince, if you can answer, I will give you 5 BMW, and the guy now is dead. Where is my 5 BMW? Not only we answer you, we get you busted. Somebody saying, so if he died for our sin, why you are still praying? That's because you're ignorant and stupidity. When we say that Jesus died for our sin, it's mean by accepting him, you get your opportunity to repent and to be saved. Doesn't mean if he died for our sin, that's mean you have a license for sin. That's what you Muslims believe. You have a license for sin, and your God, he says, in the judgment day, Allah will take all the sin of the Muslims, even if it's like mountains, and he places it in the top of the Christians. We Christians don't have such a garbage. We believe that you will be punished for your sin. And when we say Jesus died for our sin, that's mean that he came because we are sinners. He came to save us. He came, us, came to us to give us a salvation. And then if we repent, and we accept him, and we follow him, and we do as he told, to do then we will be saved so your statement is a copy paste statement of abdul coming from inside watermelon he told him he can marry her i am not surprised to see a silly comment like this because islam is silly and muslims are copy paste from each other they don't even know what christianity is about and they think that jesus when he when we say jesus he died for our sin that's it we are going to go to heaven, brother, because Jesus died for our sin. Hello, let us go to the, you know, the, the, do boom, boom like Muhammad. No, we don't do that. 
Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do his will. Which means, saying, Lord, believing in him, something, and doing something else. So if you don't do what you believe in, that means your faith is fake and you are a hypocrite like Muhammad. The man who told you, you cannot do a relationship with your wife when she has menstruation, but he was doing. The one who told you, you cannot piss toward the Kaaba, but he was doing that. The one who told you, uh, 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 be decent, you know, and he was, uh, uh, he went to the, his own house, uh, uh, son house, and he flirted with the wife in the house of his son when she is married. So, in Christianity, you would not have such a garbage. All right? Uh, CP react to a state hijab debate. I did not watch it because I don't think there's a debate. There are, those are a bunch of kids. They don't count for me. If they dare, let them, let them call me. Do you think they even, we can call them? I mean, those guys, they are going after Yasser Qadri. Yesterday, he was their boss. Today, they are biting him like dogs. Those are a bunch of street boys. You know, they have no dignity. They have no honor and you know you cannot you cannot debate people who already we we, we destroyed all their lives allah have body part who said so this is what mimi said who said so just go right now search on youtube you will find endless numbers of videos of made by muslim scholars saying allah have a hand allah have a foot allah have a leg and this guy he said who said so stupidity doesn't work with us all right uh, anyway, and you know, like uh, uh, this uh, this person, Slayer the uh, uh, the Jibril. Uh, uh, if you if you look at the comment, uh, you will notice that uh, hashish is very powerful. Mm. Anyway, <clears throat> here you see. Another, another comment from Muhammad, and just to show you the stupidity how it works, it works for our benefit. He says things so we can love. So you, your God killed his son? Well, that's just, that's just to see your logic. According to your logic, based on what you are saying, if Jesus is son of God, his father will save him. But isn't this what happened in Islam? So you are a stupid fool like your prophet. You just prove that Islam agreeing that Jesus is son of God. Because if he is a son of God, his father will save him. He will not kill him. So you prove to us that you are a Muhammad. And can you tell us why Jesus was saved and saved by God? Is that because he's your son? This is your logic. <laughs> Stupidity again is amazing. I don't know how many fingers I left in your bum right now. According to you, if Jesus is not the son of God, uh, or if he is the son of God, his father should save him. Secondly, who said that God killed him? Even your Quran says that the Jews wanted to kill him. So are you saying your prophet was a liar? Hmm? God, he knew the future. He knew what they want to do. He knew they will kill him. But it's not God who killed Jesus. You are a stupid fool like your prophet. No wonder you believe in drinking camel urine can fight Corona. So the logic of Muslim actually is non-consistent with their belief and it's so stupid to the point they just get their prophet busted and they just say that jesus must be the son of god because if he is son of god his father will save him and this is exactly what happened in islam jesus was saved by god why muhammad he died by poison like a rat why allah saved jesus did not save muhammad i will give you 20 years to give me the answer why your god saved jesus according to islam he did not save Muhammad. You Muslim, you claim that Muhammad. So are you saying Allah killed, uh, killed Muhammad? Is that what you are saying? Exactly. Because the Quran says not a soul, single soul will die without permission from Allah. So when the Jewish woman, she poison your prophet and he die by poison, that's mean Allah gave permission. Allah did not give a permission to kill Jesus according to Islam, but he gave a permission for Muhammad to die like a rat. Right? Who killed uh, Jesus? Uh, the Jews, even the Quran says so. You are a stupid idiot. The Jews, they asked the Roman to crucify him. The Roman, they said, you know, we don't see any guilt against him. So the Jews, they requested that. And here you see back how we changed the topic right away. So can you tell us who killed Jesus? Let me show you, you know, even though this is not the channel we want to go to, just to show you how stupid you are. And I will give you a question. I will give you 10,000 years to answer it. 
You must then you say that Jesus was saved. So why this verse in the Quran says the following? And I challenge you to name for me the prophet who was killed by the Jews. Can you? Chapter 5, verse number 70. We took covenant of the children of Israel. Okay, and what happened then? And then some of them, they slay. Some of the prophet, they slay. Fariqan yaqtulun. Can you tell me? You see, it says Fariqan, which means many. Many prophets, the Jews, they killed. Can you name for me one? Where we can find the story in the Quran about one person who was slaughtered by the Jews? Your God have time to tell us about the ant speaking to Solomon, but he don't have time to tell us about the prophet was slaughtered by the Jews. Hmm? The book of Hummus and Shish Kebab. Who is a Muslim going to tell us? Who are they, those prophets who were killed by the Jews? It's in the front of you. Use your Bible, okay? See, it hurt him to lose his Quran. It hurt him because if I use my Bible, you will say I don't believe in the Bible anyway. But now I'm using your Quran, so you cry. You say, use your Bible. I thought my Bible is corrupt, brother. <laughs> <laughs> the follower of the prophet Hummus. Your prophet, Mr. Hummus, is an idiot. I challenge you to answer. Who are they, the Jews they killed, the prophet they killed? Can you tell me? Give me a name. I thought Jesus was saved. Which prophet the Jews killed? Are you shaking your head? Anyway, guys, let us go. Uh, we will be in the other channel again. This is the link for those who like to join us. Those are funny. Abdul. This is an example of those how silly they are. They are copy paste, you know. Right? You, you can't find even one of them. He have a little uh, IQ to debate. I don't debate Muslims, by the way. I just spank. Boom, boom. Spanky, spanky. And they love it. They love it and they keep coming back. And not even one of them dare to call me live on air. And here we go. I will be live in the other channel in less than what, 20 minutes? Let us see how many Muhammadan have the courage from those who claim to have knowledge at least. They will call us. Hmm? So please join us in the other channel. We will not be live here again because we keep repeating and people don't listen. We will be in this channel. I'm posting the link. Click there, subscribe there, and wait for me. I will be there after 13 minutes exactly. Kabich, there's a link down in the info of the page of the video. And I will post a link in the comment for the link for the uh, uh, to go there. And I'm posting the link in the chat. And then somebody will say, after all of that I say, they will say, when, when Christian Prince will come? Wake up, drink coffee join us all right so we will be in the other channel not here let me make it slower we will be in the other channel i'm making it slower just for the muslims now you know they are slow we will be in the other channel not here if you like me to sing it for you like the quran i can do that be in the other channel join us click us okay so this is the link join it join it we made the quran for you what do you want more i mean come on and still they say okay a christian prince i are coward why you are running away from me huh I will accept call from Hamza, any Muslim, any Muslim. Hamza is just a potato. You think Hamza would dare to call me? This guy is doing poopoo -poo already in his band. We don't care who will call. I don't know who is going to call me. Any Muslim, he is willing to call. But willing to call, he will come to call. This guy already got spanked as much as he wish. Anyway, uh, see you in the other channel. 
in about 11 minutes and again we will be in the Christian Prince as you see this is a small account I have it's just a backup I have just 20,000 not include my wife's Alhamdulillah if we add my wife that will make them like 100,000 so uh, uh, 90,000 point nine that's funny 90,000 how many 19,000.9 uh-huh okay I mean, we are stuck with the nine, 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 nine. Okay. Ah, miracle of number 19. Aha. Uh -huh. I was wondering what's happening here. Uh, who want to tell us about miracle number 19? Call us, call us so we can laugh. Hmm? Yeah. It's funny how we argue with random people. Why you don't bring me your random people? Bring me your shake. Guys, guys, look how they, look what they complain. Do you Muslims even dare to say anyone can call us? Who is holding your sheikh to call me? Look how he argue with random Muslims. So you are the random Muslim now? So what's the problem now? Are you saying to me you are a stupid city? I should not talk to you? We should talk to somebody is important? Exactly. So why you don't bring me the, the important? Instead, all what we have a kid, his name is Hamza, complaining that he is talking to random Muslim. Where is your sheikh? Why you don't call your sheikh right now? He say, hey, sheikh, this guy, he is opening his Skype. Call him. It's funny, brother. It's funny how we argue with random people on Skype, brother, but doesn't have the guts to debate. So what we are doing now? You Muslim don't debate in Skype? I can show you tons of debates Muslims done in Skype. So suddenly, when it's about Christian Prince, nobody dare to debate him in Skype. We debate you face to face. I challenge you. <laughs> okay it is muta time see you guys in a few minutes in the other channel and may, may Allah provide Muslims with muta so we can have a muta'in religion and a muta'in prophet and a muta'a prophet who is very holy but he do muta okay muta time join us God bless you and see you soon bye bye